Art is the greatest lie of all. And when you surrender yourself to it, it's magic. Hey, I'm Ted Neal. I read, I write, I publish, I repeat. And I love Netflix's Arcane. And I feel that an examination of the ethics and arcane through the lens of moral foundation theory can teach us so much about writing, especially around storytelling, world building, and character development. So let's jump in. Uh, let's talk about the moral universe of Arcane's League of Legends. And let me warn you here at the top, uh, spoilers abound. So I'd argue that one of the elements that makes season one of Arcane so compelling is that all the characters are adhering to their own moral code. And it's a moral code that we can appreciate. To understand this and the psychic mechanics underneath of why it appeals to us on a deep level, we need to use the framework of moral foundations theory. Um, there are many types of ethical frameworks, situational ethics, virtue ethics, intuitionism. Um, but in my writing and my social justice work, I find moral foundations theory, or MFT, most useful. MFT posits that all moral dilemmas come down to six principles or opposing vir virtues and vices. And that these uh, virtues and vices and how they oppose each other, it's really intuitive to us as human beings and emergent from our um, human minds. And then it's reinforced in terms of how we're socialized. So the sets are as follows. Care and protection versus harm. Equity and fairness versus lying and cheating. Liberty versus oppression. Loyalty versus betrayal. Authority versus subversion and innocence, purity, sanctity versus degradation. So I'll talk more about these in the next video. Hold on, be right back. 